So we've got a few challenges here in the far north when it comes to providing a reliable, affordable supply of electricity to our communities. For a start, there's not many of us living in a big and mostly rural area. That means we need a lot of lines to get power to everyone, which are vulnerable to vegetation and storms. It also means the cost to everyone connected to those lines is higher than in a city where more people share the costs. We've only one high voltage transmission line through the middle of the far north. This line's getting older, which means it has to be taken out of service more often for maintenance. We also rely on getting the majority of the electricity into our region from power stations and the Waikato. We're tackling the supply, reliability and cost issues head on by investing in three projects. First, we've been spending more on improving the resilience of the local lines network and we're going to continue to do that in coming years. This investment programme alone has almost doubled the value of the network over the last decade. So far, Top Energy has spent around $200 million on the network. We've built new substations, refurbished existing substations, improved the lines and added some small diesel generators around parts of our network, like Kaitaia and Taipa, to cover planned and unplanned power outages. We're also planning to build a new high voltage transmission line that will create a loop to Kaitaia and eventually allow us to replace the older transmission line through the Mangamukas. Second, work has started in the sizeable expansion of our NAFA geothermal power station, so it will ultimately provide more generation than the region currently needs, enough to power the whole of the far north with some left over that we can send south. In the long term, the power station should export enough electricity to consumers south of our region to earn revenue to drive down the cost of delivered energy to our customers. And thirdly, we're looking at creating smaller, self-reliant power networks using new energy technologies, and we call those microgrids. For most people, electricity is still a one-way flow. It comes into their house or business from a power line. When you add a solar panel to your roof, as 600 property owners in the far north have, it changes the flow picture. Now, you have one flow into your property, another flow from the solar panels into your home, and sometimes a flow back into the grid. But that doesn't change things hugely. The addition of a home battery provides a whole lot of new possibilities. You've got electricity flowing from the solar panels, or from the grid to the battery, and then from the battery into the home or back to the grid. When and how much electricity flows along each of these routes depends on how much the sun was shining during the day, how much the property used, and potentially the price of electricity. In the new world of many flows of electrons, electricity consumers will become producers and even traders of electricity. So Top Energy, we're thinking about this new world and our role in it. We won't act as a barrier to new technology. We'll be using the new tech in microgrids and ensuring other customers can use it too. We think it'll be more affordable for the network and its customers if we create microgrids that are self-reliant. In this scenario, an isolated community will be connected together to share solar power backed up by a network of batteries and a generator. This is a better option than spending more of the trust money on replacing lines. Many of these lines have been uneconomic for the whole of their lives. In fact, about a third of the network is uneconomic. So new technologies provide us with a great opportunity to reduce costs and increase levels of service to our customers. The combination of self-sufficiency in electricity, upgraded lines and new energy technologies, including solar and battery storage, will essentially mean the far north would become its own microgrid with minimum dependence on the national grid. Top Energy is 100% owned by the Trust, which represents the electricity consumers of the far north. The profits of the company are then given as a discount to electricity users. More revenue for the company means a bigger discount. We have the long-term goal of creating an affordable and reliable electricity system in the far north. With the expansion of NAFA, continued investment in our lines, as well as incorporating new technologies, we're moving closer to achieving that vision.